Tanya Lokshina joins us now from Berlin for more. Tanya, thank you so much for your time, first of all. Now, for close to a decade, uh, Ramzan Kadyrov has tried to rid Chechnya of all forms of dissent. But this report says that it documents a new phase in Chechnya's crackdown. What is new about this, this particular time? Yes, indeed. Over this past year and a half, Chechnya has been facing a staggering, sweeping wave of repression as the local authorities apparently aim to cut down on all flows of information coming out of Chechnya. It is as if a large-scale mop-up operation is being carried out. It seems that on the one hand, by doing so, in the run-up to Mr. Kadyrov's very first election, the authorities in Grozny aim to remind the local public that Mr. Kadyrov is all-powerful. He is the lord and master. And at the same time, they also aim to make sure that no one in the outside finds out what's really happening in Chechnya. So con considering these allegations, do you doubt the fairness of the elections coming this September? Listen, a precondition for a free and fair election is a possibility for people to express themselves freely without fear of retaliation. With this level of repression in Chechnya, with freedom of expression being essentially annihilated, people do not have a choice. They cannot speak their mind. Yes, they're going to show up at the polling stations. They're going to vote. They're going to support Kadyrov because, frankly, under given circumstances, not supporting Kadyrov is a capital offense. It can cause disastrous consequences for people and their families. And therefore, it's not about choosing. It's something else. Now, one of the reasons we felt it was so important to uh, deliver this particular report is that in this recent year, quite a lot of people in Chechnya told us one and the same thing. Okay. When the war was ongoing, that bloody protracted armed conflict, with all the horrid abuses by Russian federal forces, we were frightened but we okay. can't live with it. Oh. Now the level of accumulation is just unbearable. That's mm. what's okay. happening in thank Chechnya you, Tanya. today, and that's why people are running from Chechnya. Yes, thank you, Tanya. Th thank you very much for your contributions today. Tanya Lokshinha from Human Rights Watch there.